All right, I've uh, made some updates to the track player. Um, I had uh, put together a new track player last week, and then uh, I got a little bit of feedback, and then also been testing. Um, so now, um, the first change I made is actually the track player, it's going to select tracks from within your font. Um, so looking through and getting some uh, input from some other people who saw the video, um, a lot of uh, fonts nowadays actually come with their own tracks. Um, so it made more sense to actually just uh, narrow the track player to whatever uh, font was active. Um, so kind of show that. So um, so if you're in a particular font, you're going to hold and release the power button. It'll play the default track, which you still assign in the config. There'll still be one track. But now I'll have the option to look through. So you can basically cycle through the entire folder. And then when you get to one you want, you'll have all the control options. So if you just click it, it'll just play it once. But then if I change fonts, You'll get through all the fonts in the second, or all the tracks in the second font, and then I can. Select precise. Always remember, your focus determines your reality. And then again, this is another font, so it'll be a different set of tracks. So that basically, so now the, the tracks are dependent upon the font. So you can have completely different tracks for each of your fonts and be able to go through all of them. So it lets you put whatever tracks you want related to a specific font together. Um, and then we'll go. Go back here. So now, in addition, I've actually added also another playback option. So um, there's going to be four playback options with uh, the, the track. So uh, as you just saw, you go into the track player, hold and release power while off. It will play the default track. You can rotate to any track you want. Now, if you just click the power button, it's gonna play that track one time. If you wanna loop this track multiple times, just continuous, you're gonna hold the button, turn left. It says loop, I just spoke over it. But now what'll happen is, this track is going to continue to play until I stop it. It'll just keep looping um, until you either uh, stop it or cut power. Um, that's all. Let this one play out. But so now with the four options. So previously I had the play once, loop, and rotate. I've added a, a random also. So now it'll be you'll go into the, the track player, hold and release power. Play, it'll play your default. If you just want that default to play once, you click the power button. If you want that default to uh, loop over, you're going to hold the power button, rotate left. If you want to um, rotate through all of the tracks in that folder, just sequentially, you're going to hold the power button, rotate right. And now if you want just a random playback, so that looped back already. So that one looped back. So now we'll go in again, and this time we'll do the rotate. So I like this one, I'm gonna hold the power button, turn right. And I spoke over it again, it says rotate. And the, the sounds are, are also, uh, they're from No Sloppy. Uh, Brian Connor provided them. But now this time it will finish this track out and then it will go immediately to the next track. 
and then the, the new option random um, instead of the power button when you get to the track you want you're going to just click aux and aux will actually just it'll play the track you select but then it will go to a random next track and it'll keep choosing random tracks again until you stop it So this one's about done, now it'll go to the next track. And this track's a little low, so we'll... So this will play a different track. And then this is going to be the new option, so to stop at any time, just hold and release the power. So now we'll go... go here now again I've been choosing this one just because it's short you can pick any track you want um, but if I go so if I like this one and now if I want to start with this one what I'll do is I'll click the aux button and it said random now it's gonna play this track and then after it it will randomly select another track and so on and so forth it'll just keep randomly selecting so Loop plays the same exact track over and over again. Rotate plays starting from that track and then going forward through all the tracks and it'll circle back around if you leave it playing. And then random plays the track you selected, but then after that it's going to select, just keep selecting random tracks so it's out of order. So, so now you have the ability um, to have specific tracks to each font. And then you also now have the four different control methods. So you, play once which is normal loop rotate and then random so uh, hopefully this wasn't the two minute track I just grabbed this might have been a longer track so I'll let it play out just so you can see it's gonna randomly grab a different one um, but so still uh, more work and testing to do on it but uh, it's been working pretty well um, and actually having the, the tracks narrowed to the specific font um, actually makes it uh, run a little bit better. Um, so And this gives you more freedom. So you can put completely different tracks in each of your fonts. And then whatever font you have active, you're going to have access to those tracks only instead of having to go through so many. So if you had, you know, you know 20 or so tracks on, on a dozen fonts, uh, the if we looked at all of them um, for the track player, it actually would slow down and... It would take you uh, a long time to get through all of them, so this way you can specify uh, within the font folder. Um, so with all these uh, new menu system uh, for edit mode uh, plus the track player, you are going to have some formatting requirements on the SD. You're going to have to have folders and uh, set up certain ways, um, but that'll all be part of the write-up. Uh, but for this, for the track player, it will only look for tracks within the font. So you'll have your font name slash lower uh, tracks or lowercase. And then anything within that folder, it's going to consider a track, and it's going to let you play and select from them. Um, so multi as many as many tracks as you want per font, um, and then the four playback methods. So yeah, I picked a really long track, of course. I'll let it play out for everybody, just so you can hear the random switch. Actually, it's easier to hear. Saber off. and then it randomly selected a different font. Or track, sorry. So, that's the uh, new track player. Uh, more to come. Uh, still a lot of work to do, but uh, hope you all enjoy.